Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Sword Art Online Affiliation. I'm doing Season 1, Episode 15, called The Relentless Night. So, Kurito and Yuji confront the kids and they're basically their sisters in training as in nuns. And basically all the religious people lock themselves in the rooms and knows about them. And then we found out that um, the little girls um, stabbed Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're knights, like I thought. Because I was like, oh, what are these little kids doing out? And I was like, huh, predictable. Obviously, they take these little, um, tiny little uh, knives, you know, swords or whatever, and just went, Tch. I was like, okay. And the other one stabbed, um her Carito and both are paralyzed because they have like paralyzed and stuff in there. But Carito told Yuji to talk to them for a minute because he doesn't really like kids or doesn't know how to talk to them. So Yuji talked to him first. So he turned around and was doing something. Anyway, and they were called at age five and they probably look eight. But I'm pretty sure the point effects uh, stunted their age. So they're probably like a thousand, well they're probably like 150 years old or something crazy. So, and they said they're going to off them and they're at uh, floor 50 because they actually brought them up the stairs to floor 50 and brought them to another night. And basically Krito had, um, had a, um, What is it? He counteracted the paralyzation to it with another liquid and revived himself. And so then he ended up paralyzing the kids and taking them out into the hall. And um, basically had the antidote, thank you, pass me. And so he did it right away, like when he turned around and it was when Yuji was talking to them. So anyway, he won't off them because they're kids. And so they're going to um, fight this other knight called Fanito. A Fanito. Anyway, they have a really, really awesome fight scene between them, which was super cool. And then, uh, but Kurito got hit twice. And basically, this sword was made from the point effects with a bunch of mirrors hitting this. Um, Essentially, a bunch of mirrors reflecting the sun that hit points of light into a rock, and that rock was turned into a sword that does the same thing. So basically, it's like sun bolts hitting you, period. So, yeah. So then, um, Yujo starts to um, get rid of the paralysis himself and starts his command on his sword to help con counteract that. And, like I said, the point effects created this, um, the sword out of reflected light. So, uh, Kurito reflected it back, and we found out that, um, because the helmet came off, and it's a girl knight, which I thought was pretty cool. So, oh, we're at more diversity. That's cool. And then we have a fight scene, and we find out that she doesn't like herself. And she's like, okay, if I can't win this, I'm taking y'all down with me. And she, she wants to bring down the entire floor. So Yuji does back up to Kurito, and then she sends another blast. And that was the end of the episode. Um, crazy episode, thoroughly enjoyable. I give this an A-. It would have been a plus, it wasn't so predictable at the very beginning, because it was obvious that those kids were like, oh, I'm going to off you, bye. So, um, turns out they were excellent at that. It's like, oh, we don't want to cause you pain when you go away. I was like, oh my god. That's like, ugh, crazy creepy. But anyway, um, I like how the other night, fin Finito, basically she, um, fights with a lot of honor, but if she loses, she's taking everyone out with her. So, yeah. <laughs> really good episode, I really enjoyed it, and that's going to do it for this episode. So if you like this episode, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree? Just leave your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe because I don't stop the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.